Your 20s is the perfect age between childhood and adulthood. It's finally time for you to take control of your future and enjoy your life before you're pinned down by responsibilities and commitments. Many of us lose sight during this period. As pivotal as our 20s are to finally live the life we've always wanted, it's also very important to be aware of our financial decisions. Some which may start off tiny, but could have a serious long-term effect for the rest of your life. Today we're going to go over 8 money mistakes you should avoid in your 20s. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification for more videos like this on a weekly basis. My first paycheck was in my early 20s and I was blowing through it like no tomorrow. It's an exciting feeling when you first start making money. You want to spend it on vacations, clothes, cars, you name it. But once your paycheck runs dry, what do most people rely on? You guessed it, credit cards. The secret to building wealth is to live within your means, especially when you're young. When you develop this habit early, you'll have a head start that not many others have. If you don't develop this habit, you'll probably never get around to forming it. This kind of lifestyle is the main reason so many people go into debt in the first place. It's very common for college students to rack up credit card debt while in school. Some students may even rely on their credit cards to make ends meet. This habit is a surefire way to bury yourself in debt, which could take years to pay off. According to a Northwestern Mutual survey, Americans aged between 18 to 34 carry a staggering $36,000 of debt. While student loans are responsible for 21% of that debt, another 20 is from credit cards. Limit yourself to just one or two credit cards with cashback rewards if possible. Purchase only what you can afford and try your best not to carry a balance each month. I get it, you're young. What emergency could you possibly face? In your 20s, you probably never experienced many financial emergencies, so you never considered saving for one. But guess what? Emergencies can happen to anyone at any age. And if you don't have the financial means, then you'll find yourself in a serious problem when something comes up. And yes, something will come up. Try to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses. I know it could be very challenging, especially in your 20s, but the sooner you do it, the better you'll be. Credit score is a big deal. If you want to buy a house, a car, sign a rental agreement, or even land a job, your credit will play a huge role in the future. Missing payments and building an unreliable track record in your 20s could haunt you for decades to come. Having a high credit score means you're reliable with your money. This is very valuable in negotiating a lower interest rate for loans and much more. Start off with one credit card and pay your bills each month. I would always advise to use a credit card rather than cash or debit. You're making the payment anyway, right? Just make it through a credit card and pay it off in full. This will help your score and earn you some extra money if you have a cash back credit card. Using credit cards wisely and paying off your balances each month will have your credit score looking good in no time. If you don't have a plan, then it's pretty difficult to know what to do with your money. Building wealth takes time and effort. Like anything in life, without a solid plan, you're just winging it. Financial goals should be both short-term and long-term. Some may include saving for a down payment or investing in stocks. They'll help you set the parameters of your budget and give you a target to focus on. First, pick a goal, then go through your income and see how much money you have left over once all your expenses are paid. 
any funds left over should be put towards your financial goals. When you're young and healthy, sometimes you don't even think about health insurance. But here's the thing, you never really know what's coming. Making small monthly payments will save you a lot of money down the road. Without the right coverage, even a small trip to the ER can leave you trapped under a mountain of debt. And to pay off that debt, you may be forced to go into your savings or resort to high interest credit cards. And we all know what happens from there. Make this a top priority. Now it's arguable, but you'll never have more time and energy than you do now. Time is the most precious resource you'll ever have. Now don't waste it binge watching your favorite shows. Instead, use this time to invest in yourself. This is a time where you should develop your mind, read books, learn new skills, and learn about investing your money. Many financial advisors agree that investing is the fastest way to build your wealth. And if you start in your 20s, your money will have enough time to grow into a big future payout. You can also use your extra time to get a side hustle. Check out my video, seven easy ways to make money online for some ideas. All that extra income will only benefit you in the long term when used with our previous tips. A lot of students find themselves burdened by student loan debt and start falling behind on payments. Not only will this result in lowering your credit score, but the longer you take to pay it off, the more you're going to be spending on interest over time. If you've already paid off your other high interest debts, then start making payments towards your student loans. A good way to do this, assuming you've already paid off your other debts, is to take the money you would normally set aside for those other high interest debts and just apply it towards your student loans. This will be a bit easier considering you've probably gotten used to not spending that money anyway. Here's an example. Let's say you have a $30,000 student loan with a 6% interest rate. To pay off that loan in 10 years, your monthly payment is probably going to be around $330. Now that's an extra $10,000 in interest over the life of the loan. But if you can just add an extra $100 per month to your payment, that 10 year loan will now be paid off in just seven years and you would have saved over $3,000 in interest just by making that additional payment. Your 20s will be one of the most memorable times in your entire life. Just make sure your 30s, 40s, and 50s are just as exciting by avoiding these money mistakes.